I like to be in control of my life. I'm a very self-motivated person and I think that's very important as a singles colour role because there's no one else to push you to wake you up in the morning. My name is Saida Aisha. I'm a student development officer in a polytechnic in Singapore. And I am the first rower from my country to qualify for the Olympic Games. My day will be 4.30am, I will wake up. Um, I set six alarm clocks because it's my greatest fear to be late for training. I think it's just a weird thing. It takes about an hour and a half to get to the training centre. I just do my stretching, getting warmed up and then prepare my boat. And I get on water by 6 a.m. Okay, now four legs, he's got a four legs. The guy in that body still staying in front of the hips. He has basically changed my life. I don't think like, I could have gotten this far without him. Continuation around the front turn. And it. he comes down every single session. It makes me feel like if I'm not giving 100% and, and he's giving 100%, like, what does that make me? So um, the fact that he's doing that actually motivates me to wake up every single day and give my all every single session. Usually my job starts at 8.30, so it's a rush, rush thing. Um, sometimes if I have a bit more time, I will run to school. I really enjoy working at the Polytechnic because I was working with a lot of um, student athletes. Okay, girls, get into pairs. Um, each pair, one ball. She wears many hats here. She is uh, a staff advisor. She teaches. She also mentors the students. Good work, girl. She's an administrator. In a way, she has built herself a certain reputation in, in school. And uh, by her stories, her struggles, the students hear about it, they read on the news, and they get inspired from her. One, two, three. You want to make a difference in people's lives. That's, that's ultimately like what we all should be doing. I enjoy telling my stories and I enjoy seeing people achieving their dreams as well. Yeah. Are there like any issues from last year that you want to improve on, that you want to like look into? Any concerns? Uh, last year, some of our players may, uh, did, did not have time, enough time to complete some of the tasks that were given to us. So I'm going to write it down. I encourage them to have good time management, uh, good balancing skills, and then eventually all these skills that they have learned will help them in the future. Time management is something that you can control, yes. basically. It's really amazing for people like us who is having so much trouble with time management and comparing with her, she's so uh, good with time management and needs something for us to take away, you know, it's a lesson and uh, I believe that what, how she does it, we can also follow. 4K and... She's perfect for this job. She, more than anyone else, can understand what they are going through, show them how to balance between you know, their work and what they have to do academically and what they have to do as an athlete. Oh my god, you must believe in it! It is possible, yes! I started rowing when I was 16 and I was sitting on a rowing machine and someone talent scouted me. I started off on the rowing machine for a few months and I hated it because it's not fun, it's mundane. My perception about rowing all changed when I won my first medal, basically. That feeling of winning something made me hungry for more medals. I was quite reluctant when she told me that she was quite serious with rowing. I was thinking like, you're a girl, you know? Um, I think uh, you should be doing something uh, girlish rather than sports because sports is very rough because that's, that's how I was brought up. It was hard to juggle between studies and training and spending time with my family and friends so there, there was definitely a lot of choices that I have to make. Unfortunately, my mum 
was the victim of all this because I didn't get to spend much time with her. My experience at Rio, I didn't know that it will be so nerve-wracking because like you keep on thinking about being the first rower from Singapore, you keep on thinking about everyone in Singapore watching you, the pressure. And then you look at the other rowers and they are huge and they're big and they're like strong and you feel intimidated. I wasn't prepared for that. One takeaway that I can take from um, Rio towards my journey to Tokyo is that I really need to um, improve on my mental game. Today I'm going to share with you um, like the importance of mental skills training. I've been working with my mental skills coach um, since last year. I can't perform well when there's pressure. So what I've learned from him is how to let go of expectations, how to relax, how to perform better. Everything is just down to basics. That's all you need to perform well. During the Ramadan month, well, where we all fast, where all the Muslims fast, um, we can't eat or drink anything from 5 a.m. to about 7 p.m. It is hard in Singapore because of the heat and humidity, like you're thirsty all the time. It was hard this morning uh, because it's the first day, you need to get used to it. It's challenging, it will get easier, but the thing is like, once this Ramadan period is over, you'll think back and you realise that, wow, I've done this training during Ramadan, it means that when I'm not fasting now, I should be so much faster. So it's actually like motivation. When we break fast, usually it's a get-together uh, with family or friends. It's an opportunity for me to like mingle with my family who I hardly see. So Ramadan forces us to come together and eat together. I think that's a beautiful part of the month. Aisha was my netball captain in our high school uh, netball team. And we were in the same student council together. She is... Generous, so generous with her time, generous with her uh, energy, uh, generous with her uh, ability to share. So she came to my class, I'm a teacher, she came to my class to share about her Olympic journey with my students to inspire them. I didn't realise that we only get to see each other like twice or thrice a year. I think what's um, similar about all of my friends who I'm meeting like at this point of time, we all have the passion to go for you know, like career in our career uh, so yeah I think that's why we are still like very good friends because uh, we chase our passions before boys <laughs> my choice is to pursue my dream I believe in whatever I'm doing will make me happy and then it will make the rest happy as well I love my sport I love waking up at crazy hours every morning I love to have all these blisters on my hand I love all these muscles <laughs> there's no shortcuts to being an Olympian